here's my bike. Uh, I wanna make a video about why you might not wanna dip your bike. Uh, I want to do it still. I love it. It turns out the way I want it, and I don't care what other people think. A lot of people give me a lot of good feedback, but when people see it in person, it's a different story. So um, basically, what you see on the internet is not necessarily what you see in real uh, in person. So I want to point that out so that way everybody that does this uh, is prepared and they'll be totally informed that like this is going to happen when you go to dip your bike. Um, basically, two things is when you go to add uh, the paint into the water before you dip it and you go sloshing around after you get all the colors you want and you get the pattern you want you go to dip the bike you pull it out looks great but the problem is because it's in layers you get high spots and um, when you get you cannot sand it down because it changes the pattern completely and uh, you might not get what you want so um, you got to be prepared uh, either you can chance it and sand it all down smooth or you can just put clear over top of it like I like and just deal with the lumps. I mean, it's just, it's got high spots. That's the way it is. Um, my bike is gonna be totally different from everybody else's. So I'm gonna just go with it the way it is. I mean, yes, it's not perfect. It's got a lot of imperfections, but that's just the way it is. It's the, it, the whole theme is like that. I mean, there's no, no smooth areas. And that's something you just got to deal with. If you really want to dip your bike, you got to be prepared that there's no smooth areas. I mean, you could try it and you might be able to get away with it. I was lucky on this and this is almost completely smooth. I mean, I, I got real lucky on that one. I'm going to redo this one because this one's totally crap compared to that one. So I'm going to, I did this one twice and now I'm going to do this one a second time because after the first time, I thought it was good, and then when I did this twice, it was just like, oh my god, it's a total difference. So you got to be prepared, unless you have a lot of patience and are able to get out all the high spots somehow, um, you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, the other thing is too, because the paint is in layers, and you're sloshing around in water, water will get in between the layers of paint, the different colors. And that's what creates these little indents. When you get up really, really close, you can see all these little pinholes, basically. I mean, they're not holes, but I mean, you can see all these little spots where water was trapped, and when it dries and the paint shrinks, it pushes the water out, and then it creates all these spotted effect. And to me, that's what marble looks like. If you actually look at marble, it has spots all over it. So I wanted this effect, and I don't mind it. If you don't mind the spotted effect of marble, um, and you get the uh, look you like, um, then go with it. I mean, if you really want to dip your bike and you don't mind those two things, you will love it. So that's the only thing is that you got to be prepared for those two uh, things to happen. And, uh, but I love it. I mean, it looks great. I'm happy with it. My wife's happy with it and that's all that matters. I mean, <laughs> it's a bike. I mean, it's something I'm experimenting with and I want it to be something completely different because no other cruiser is like this. So I am very happy with it. Um, I don't know. Uh, my uh, my uncle asked me, "Are you going to do different colors?" I was like, "No, I'm going to go with this for a while. And if I get a second bike, I might sand it all down and do different colors. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I might, because I'm a big Ravens fan, do Ravens colors. So either that or do red skin colors, because that's what my wife likes. So I just have to wait and see what that's like. And that's it. That's all I got to say. Um, eventually, um, October 30th." Um, I have off until Friday uh, because my wife has some event thing going on. So I'm going to probably that weekend do the how to do a dip video on the back fender. So that way everybody knows how to do this. Um, I just want to put out there uh, information about why you might not want to do this. So, I mean, there's a lot of different techniques out there, but I want to show you the way uh, exactly how I did it to the T because to me it came out beautiful. I mean, if you're into this and you want your bike to look like this, just with different colors or maybe the same colors, um, you can try it. So that's all I got to say. I love it, came out the way I want and that's all that matters. So uh, I'm happy with it.